world's richest man. Elon Musk has done it again. Following the launch of Tesla tequila, with launch of Tesla beer, this time he thought of an electric restaurant inspired by Tesla, that will change the food industry. If you would like to learn more about, the Tesla restaurant then take a look at this video. Hello, and welcome to another exciting video from our channel. In today's video we will, tell you everything we know, so far about Elon Musk's new restaurant but, before we start this topic into the details, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay up to date on our latest videos. Charging time, is one of the most challenges of batteries. This describe how long it takes for a fully discharged cell, to be fully charged. In some applications, such as mobiles, and PC, the charging time is important. In some applications, such as electric cars, charging time is one of the main challenges. In conventional fossil fuel cars, the charging time is about 5 minutes. However, the charging time of the currently available batteries is about 30 minutes. Battery manufacturers are trying hard to reduce the charging time and make it possible to charge a battery as fast as possible. But have you ever thought about it? That in a meantime, what will people do while charging their car? Refreshment. Yes you are right. Now, you might be thinking, how does the restaurant industry fit in with the world's most influential luxury electric car company? Let's take it back to 2017, when CTO JB Straubel said, at an FSTEC restaurant technology conference, that the company might move into the restaurant business. The idea was to turn EV charging stations into full-service convenience stores that also serve food. Tesla has tried out a scaled-down version of that idea by creating lounges like the one at its Kettleman City, California supercharger station. Elon Musk has talked about opening a diner in Southern California for years. In 2018, he tweeted about planning to put an old-school drive-in, roller skates, and rock restaurant at one of the new Tesla supercharger locations in LA. Shortly after J.B. Straubel, Tesla's chief technology officer, told attendees at a restaurant convention that Tesla has already been working with restaurants on the concept for convenience stores and food centers at its charging stations. CEO Elon Musk has said he wants a retro car hop where a menu would automatically pop up on a driver's dash when they park their car at the restaurant. Roller skates and rock end roll would also be included in the package. And these restaurants, of course, include Tesla charging stations. The company even applied for permits to build this supercharger station in Santa Monica, California. For the last few years, no work on the project has been done, until building applications for said supercharger station were submitted this year, and the trademark application filed last week. Under the latter, Tesla's T logo would be trademarked for use by restaurant services, pop-up restaurant services, self-service restaurant services, takeout restaurant services, according to the application. Musk seemed to confirm progress on the idea in April, when he tweeted, major new supercharger station coming to Santa Monica soon. Hoping to have 50s diner, and 100 best movie clips playing too. Thanks Santa Monica City. He had previously tweeted enthusiasm for offering popcorn there, along with an outdoor screen that plays a highlight reel of the best scenes in movie history. While the name Tesla may not automatically conjure images of restaurants, the idea of combining a quick-service eating establishment with a charging station makes perfect sense. Consumers need something to do if they are away from home while having to charge their car. Eating a meal is an obvious activity, and many restaurant chains are already partnering with companies to host charging stations in parking lots. Indeed, Elon Musk first revealed plans to launch a tequila in 2018 after registering for the Tesla Quila trademark. Still, California road trippers will have to be patient. Even with trademark approval, the process for getting the correct permits takes months. Especially in Santa Monica, says Josiah Citrin, the founder of Citrin Hospitality, which includes Citrin and Melise restaurants. If it's not an existing restaurant, and it probably isn't, it's part of a big charging station, you have to get a conditional use permit, which can take six to nine months, depending on the location, Citrin said. 
even if it is an existing restaurant, it takes at least 12 to 14 weeks to get permits before you can even start building. Charging time has long been a stumbling block for electric vehicle owners. Electric cars take an average of 30 minutes to charge compared to gas cars, which can be filled in less than 5 minutes. According to several recent studies, due to charging issues, one out of every five electric vehicle owners has switched to a gasoline vehicle. Customers don't want to sit and charge for more than 30 minutes, if they are hungry and they need something to do. If they are away from home and need to charge their cars, that's why rather than simply ignoring complaints, Tesla demonstrated its customer-centric approach by responding to their problem, in a way that was different from what people expected. Many restaurant chains already have charging stations in their parking lots, as part of their partnerships. So having a Tesla restaurant next to a charging station, allows customers to do other things, while their car charges enhancing the brand. Meanwhile, Tesla has had some success in the food and beverage industry as evidenced. As we all know Elon Musk, and about his great achievements, of years, he almost conquered all the surfaces of Earth. In 2002, Musk founded SpaceX, an aerospace manufacturer and space transport services company, of which he is CEO and CTO. In 2004, he joined electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla Motors. As chairman and product architect, becoming its CEO in 2008, in 2006, he helped create SolarCity, a solar energy services company that was later acquired by Tesla and became Tesla Energy. In 2015, he co-founded OpenAI, a non-profit research company that promotes friendly artificial intelligence. In 2016, he co-founded Neuralink, a neurotechnology company focused on developing brain-computer interfaces, and founded The Boring Company, a tunnel construction company. Musk has proposed the Hyperloop, a high-speed VAC train transportation system. Despite having rather a lot on his plate already, billionaire Elon Musk is apparently Planning to pull on a tall white hat. this video was interesting. Thanks for watching this video, and if you think this video was worth watching, then don't forget to hit the like button, and share it.